Hi, this is junk food day. I'm very happy about it. So I started to do junk food day, which means cheat day, uh, every Friday. I might change it though, because on Saturday Mikael has a class in the town and we might go with him. So it might be more practical to do cheat day on Saturday so that I can buy yummy stuff in town. Uh, today I already ate a croissant a real French croissant, um, a hot dog but without bread and we eat all the condiments we had and cheese and uh, also had sandwich and also had shrimp chips and I have some tiramisu in my fridge and I might get something else too. I don't know. This cheat day I don't feel like I have a special craving so I might just stuff everything I find in my mouth so that uh, I won't have cravings the week coming next week. It's very sunny. As, oh my god, you can see. I'm very happy about it and now you cannot see me at all, I think. Um, I feel very good. Although I still don't want to see people and kind of hate on my friends, like the French ones, because I don't want to see them. <laughs> and they think that it's nice to just ask how I'm doing and to come here and to chill, but I don't want to. I really just want to be with my family. <laughs> That's it. Uh, I wanted to speak about something. Yeah, I know. I had a Skype session yesterday with my DJ, our DJ. Okay, <laughs> this is not just my wedding, our wedding. I always say my room, my bedroom, and then I realize that it's like <laughs> it's our bedroom. Sorry, Mika. Our wedding, our bedroom and our DJ. It was very good though. He's a nice guy and <laughs> he spoke a lot about his business. I was quite happy because, because he's offering everything we wanted for the wedding. So I think we will choose him. It's not, it's almost sure. Uh, but we might wait until we get too hungry to sign the papers because at the end he was like he also needs room and he also needs like um, to he has a fellow coming so they will be two and for two people the dinner something and the room is quite expensive so I don't know Mikhail wasn't very happy about it which I can understand that I'm a very nice person like I I am too nice, so for business I'm very bad and I was just like, yeah, yes, I can understand that, I can understand and in my head I was thinking, Mikael will kill me, oh my god, yeah. But I think he will be in charge of handling this in person in Hungary because our DJ speaks in English and also a few words in French, which is like crazy. I didn't expect that at all. We are very happy about this. Because most of Hungarians don't really speak even English and French, just forget about it. So for Mikael, this is a very good, this is good news. But else? I'm very happy about the wedding. It kind of starts to get together and be very nice. I would like to buy my dress, finally, but I have to wait. I have to wait like five weeks or so, so that we can go back to Hungary, uh, finish the paper stuff and buy my dress and stuff, and then I can buy the accessories. I'm, I have like 50 wedding shoe ideas. Might be too much, because I only need one pair. Yeah, I know. And I look horrible without makeup. But... Anyways, I'm waiting, by the way, for the pink hair to put in. I don't want to yet, because my hair is not straight. It's naturally, like, straight, but I just curled it, like, two days ago or something. And I'm waiting for it to get, like, dirty so that I can wash it and it gets straight again. And then I will put in my pink hair extensions. I'm very, 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 very excited about the pink hair extensions. Yes. <laughs> 